What does it come to here? Look, I know most of you don't know what I'm talking about. This is so obscure for my show, so off the topic. I know what you want. You want meat and potatoes. All right, cut the crap. You had fun. Now get back to the Islamo-fascism. That's what we tune in for. Just cut cut the garbage out now. Get down to work. Tell us about the Islamo-fascists. We want you to bash them Muslims. I don't bash Muslims. I only bash Islamo-fascists because they want to kill you and cut your throat, particularly if you're a liberal. Uh -huh. What's this? Uh... Discussion of the narcotic business of the Afghan terrorists, we're not allowed to talk about that. But since our boys died in Afghanistan to make the country free of Taliban, uh, there's been a 60% increase in, in opium poppies grown. This is amazing to me. If you can't picture, you put two and two together here. <laughs> I can't even say the rest. I don't want lead shoes. You know, I don't want a pair of cement shoes. I mean, put two and two together. We knock out the Taliban because they're extremists. And uh, they, they burned all the opium crop because it was against Islam to be a junkie. It's true they put women in burkas and they didn't let them drive, but they also did get rid of the opium crop. Now they're gone and the, and the opium crop goes up, the poppies. Why? How do, you, how do you put two and two together? Well, I'll let you figure it out. I mean, you, you, can, you can put two and two together, what the war may be about. In part now, in part, you can figure it out. I don't say entirely. Nothing is entirely one thing or the other. It's like Iraq. We were told it was to liberate 20 million Iraqis. Well, great, we liberated them. Now they're stabbing us in the back and setting up bombs. So it wasn't only to liberate 20 million Iraqis. It was also because of uh, no-bid contracts. It was to, for oil. It was to put a, a landing zone in Iran's backyard. And it made good sense, all those other reasons. I wish Bush would just come out and say, all right, let's cut through the crap. There were no WMDs. I'm going to level with you. Here's the story. I went into Iraq knowing that there were no WMDs, but I knew you're a bunch of dumb schmucks, and you need an excuse, something to scare you. So we ginned up the WMDs. All right, now, but here's the real reason. We went in there to get oil. Now, hold on. The reason we needed the oil is so that you can drive around in those pig cars of yours and not pay more than five bucks a gallon. And even if you're paying two to three now, it's a bargain compared to what they pay in Europe. And if we hadn't gone into Iraq, you'd be paying more. So number one, we went in for oil. Number two... A lot of expensive people put me in office here. They spent a lot of money to get me elected. Even though I was absolutely not qualified for the office, we needed to spend $100, $200 million. I had to pay them back. They got the no-bid contracts. That's business. That's politics American style. Number three, we want to divide up the country. We want to give the Kurds the north, and we want to cut it up so that we uh, divide and conquer them. You can understand that. Oppress them by conquering them and dividing them. Number four, we needed a good place to start a base to scare Iran because they cut your throats, particularly if you're a liberal. Iran will come and kill the homosexuals because it's a crime in Islam to be gay, and they kill you if you're gay. So you gays got to come along with me. You feminists who normally hate me, you should come along with me because they hate women and they give you clitorectomies over there, and they put you in burkas and take away all your rights. This is George Bush, and I approve this message. I'll be right back. <laughs> News Talk 870.